just let's take a second and reflect on where we are. We've, we've made references to it tonight. I, mean, I can think of my grandfather walking through these, this very room, trying to become an American like all of your parents, grandparents, great-grandparents. Think about what they came here for. This was a destination for them, a destination for political freedom, religious freedom, and economic opportunity. They were remarkable people, remarkable generation. They had a mission to come to a place that allowed them to have children and grandchildren to take advantage of the bounties of this country and the freedom of this country. When we think about that tonight, we think about the fact that they were steeled with courage and resilience and filled with hope. And as we think about Wagner College and the meaning of this particular place for us, so many of us are the children or grandchildren or great-grandchildren of immigrants who made that sacrifice to come here, who had that vision, that commitment. And also, every day, from that beautiful campus on that hill, we look back this way. We look back at the water. And we look in the water and we see the challenges and the promise of American democracy and what it has meant for all of us and what it means for our future. We have a mission. That view, that beautiful view at Wagner College is a mission. It's a mission to educate people, to be able to lead this kind of democratic society, to be able to understand that that college was built very intelligently by courageous people coming down from Rochester with a Lutheran prose seminary, with the goal of forming a college when in a very, very rural, bucolic Staten Island. And they came here and formed a college around deep learning, around uh, responsible leadership, around public service, and around high achievement. Many of us are in this room tonight because we benefited from that or because we are part of those values, whether we went to Wagner or not. There are many non-alums in this room as well who support this college. So that view that we have is really a mission. If we look at Wagner today, as Louise was, was, was alluding to, we've reached a wonderful point. We're a successful college. We're a national college. We have students from 44 states. Our acceptance rates fell from probably the high 80s to the, it's in the mid 50% range. Our SATs are high. Our students, as you saw tonight, both with the choir and the theater students and the, the young alum, Tad, and with Morgan, you can see the quality of who they are, the commitment they have to work, hard work. We, uh, we've reached a, a wonderful admissions model. We've never had as much financial stability as we have today. A lot of success. And of course, our curriculum academically. We've never achieved the kind of national recognition we have. We're, we're looked at as an innovative liberal arts college, one of the most innovative liberal arts colleges, because we took our location and we linked it intimately to the way students are taught and the way they learn. We linked this comparative advantage, if you will, with New York City, with Manhattan. Instead of running away from it, we embraced it, brought it into the classroom. And our classroom really is New York City, all of New York City, and everything it represents. And so we are at a very interesting moment. We could stay right where we are. And we're, we're not comfortable, but we're, we're stable. But we would not be fulfilling the mission that we were given. We wouldn't be realizing the fact that we were able to give back and had a responsibility to give back to the, future genera the current and the future generations of Wagner students because we're preparing them for leadership, achievement, and service in a very unique model of higher education. I want you to take a walk with me. I want you to take a walk with me in your minds. Five years from now, it's 2012. This campaign ended a year or two before. And let's walk across the campus and see what we achieved together. What did we actually do? Well, first, let's start in Main Hall. We go to Main Hall, and we'll notice then that its whole exterior has been refurbished. It's a building that's old and has been taken care of for a long time. It needs about $4 million worth of work. We'll have put a new roof on it. We'll have remortared all the work. We'll put new windows in. You'll go inside. You'll see a new theater. A theater, finally, that represents architecturally and accounts for architecturally the talent represented by the students on, those, on that stage and those technicians making that happen, that best collegiate theater program in the country. We'll leave there. We'll take a turn around the corner on what used to be the baseball field. We'll see an elegant senior residence for our senior students living in apartments and suites, which absolutely matches to the needs they have as seniors, because our senior program, one of the jewels of the Wagner Plan, 
has all of our students take a summative course in their major. They do a, simultaneously 100 hours of field work and a senior thesis around the question of what does it mean to practice this, this discipline effectively and responsibly. Even if they don't intend to go beyond just that major, even if they're in chemistry but going to business, into the business, what does it mean to be a chemist? What does it mean to be a nurse? What does it mean to be an educator? What does it mean to be in finance, an entrepreneur, a banker? So that living arrangement that we'll have built will afford them the kind of semi-autonomous lifestyle that they'll need as they take that next step out to the world of work, graduate school, and the professions. We'll walk a little further. By the way, we might stop in that building. There'll be a little Starbucks in that building. We might have a cup of coffee, talk to some students, and then we'll head past Megerly Hall. Where we're always going to find excellent scientific equipment excellent laboratories, and really, really, truly dedicated students. This past week, we had Dr. Rita Caldwell, the 11th uh, director of the National Science Foundation, come to campus as our Kaufman Rapage lecturer. She was stunned by what she found, by the faculty she found, by the students she found there. She just fell in love with the place. Our science students are extremely dedicated. And then we'll walk outside of Megerly Hall, and we'll go across to what used to be the Augustinian Monastery. And you saw a little bit of it downstairs tonight if you saw the model. And what you will see is the main hall of the 21st century. You will see a sophisticated, technologically sophisticated teaching and learning environment with the School of Business, the School of Nursing, the School of Education, the Department of Economics, but a general classroom a building as well, set of buildings as well. All students will use those buildings in a Venetian palazzo style with a fountain in front of it that will do justice to this campus in terms of elegance and represent the values of deep learning, of responsible leadership and service. We have an obligation, it seems to me, all of us, those who are a part of this college because we love it and we lead it, those of us who are in it, those of us who graduated from it, those of us who love it, who are friends of it, who are members of our community, and those who just who are, who've come by us and fell, fell in love just like all of us fell in love with Wagner. We have an obligation. We can leave a legacy, and future generations will say about us that we incorporated Wagner into our hearts and souls and left a foundation for future generations to emulate and expand upon. That's our responsibility, is to leave a legacy. We're at a very interesting tipping point at Wagner College. I say this every day, my senior staff is probably sick of hearing this, but we are at a very interesting tipping point. The quality of the students coming, from all over the country, Alaska, Hawaii, Maryland, very heavy from the New England area, but all over the country, California, Florida, just about everywhere. You go down to the hawk's nest to get a cup of coffee, and I always talk to the students, I'll say, where you're from? I expect to hear Tottenville or you know, some other place in Long Island. They'll say I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin, or Portland, Oregon. They're from all over. We've really reached a tipping point where students are now drawn to this college for three reasons, and we've tracked this in a very specific sort of way. They come because they want to be in New York City. They come because of the Wagner plan, which they identify as very vividly in terms of linking experiential field-based learning with classroom learning, not in just a set of internships and a set of classes, but uniting them together to make a real difference about how to take deep knowledge and real-world practical problems and put them together in a powerful way. So when our students walk across that stage and I get to hand them a diploma, They've been out in the world at least two times by our curriculum, and usually four or five times because we put them out in internships and other kinds of practicums. And they know they're better prepared, they're hardworking, they're industrious, they have great affection for each other and great affection for the school. It's a remarkable time. We could sit where we are, or we could move forward. If we don't have the resources to meet the needs of these students who want to go abroad, they want to spend time abroad and learning about the relationship between other cultures and their own. They want to make a difference in the world. We do 80,000 hours of public service and experiential learning every year at Wagner College. 2,000 students, 80,000 hours. They are highly committed to build a better society around them and to build a better world. So our challenge is to leave that legacy and make Wagner another kind of destination. The immigrants who came here, our parents and grandparents, America was their destination. Our destination is to make Wagner College the kind of institution that prepares people for the responsibilities of democratic leadership in a nation committed to the best values, the values that shimmer on this water all around us, of hope and courage and freedom and opportunity. 
Thank you very much.